What's up, people? It's time for another Great Vault. We're diving into it. This time, I only I slacked off a little bit. I only have three characters we're diving into, but I went real, real hard on the top character, maxed out his vault uh, with all eight of the Mythic Plus dungeons. We'll see where my main character goes with that and then keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, but I don't, my little baby druid and my, my little warrior, I was not, did not able to have time to jump into a Mythic Plus this week. So, that, ah, I feel bad for about it, but oh well. I gotta focus on the Death Knight Monk and... Uh, my Demon Hunter are the three ones I always go to. And also, at the end, once I go through the Demon Hunter, I'm also going to give some tips and tricks on uh, upgrading characters and spending Valor points, upgrading different slots, and kind of how to not screw yourself over on some things. So, starting off here at 385 item level, Blood Tank, also PvP, but I didn't get any PvP in either this week. So, man, oh man. Oh, what? That is literally, wait, oh no, no, that's the pendant I got on my Demon Hunter. I was like, I literally just got that. So that kind of sucks because I have an Elemental Lariat there. So I don't even think that that is going to be, like, yeah, it's a whole bunch of critical strike, but then I lose, uh, ga, 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 yeah, and then the three slots and then the effect. So ah, that's, that, is, that, is a, that is a loss. Uh, but here's the other thing. Well, I could also upgrade the Lariat. So I think I'm actually going to go... Uh, for some tokens, because th this is a, a good example of like, oh, I could upgrade this. That's 7 out of 13. I could definitely upgrade this, but I could also upgrade the Lariat with all the, the dungeons I'm running from all of that to get it to 405. So, uh, and 405 is pretty up there, and I could be spending my Valor tokens and other things. So, yep, we're going to go for the, um, the little tokens there. And I think I actually did tokens on another character before, so I should probably check on my tokens. Uh, and see uh, what things I should be uh, getting tokens on. Yeah, I did have tokens before, so there we go. There's four tokens now that I'm going to have to be uh, spending some stuff on to get, put, put some sockets and at least polish off some of, some of these Death Knight pieces. So there's that. On to the monk, um, who just, I feel like that screen, his head's sticking off the top of the screen. And maybe they should adjust the size of the Maghar orcs. Uh, or maybe it's actually, you know what, it's 100%. It's because I, I chose the stand-up appearance instead of the slouched appearance. I never even had that thought. But anyway, I'm a monk. I did a whole bunch of PvP on a monk last week. I did none this week. So uh, we'll see how... I always debate on if that's worth uh, worth mounting up for or not. But with dragon riding, it probably is. All right. Um, this is only going to be, again, one piece. Um, but my demon hunter is what I'm the most excited for. And hopefully I didn't get, don't get screwed. Because that's what I... Ooh, tier. But I already have tier. Oh, no, no, this is Drake Breaker tier. So this is actually good. This is actually good. Okay, great, great, great. So I have tiered, tiered hands. Tiered hands, I will definitely take some tiered hands. The the, the piece I'm using uh, right now is the PvP piece, uh, which actually, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if that's me, if I'm in my tanking gear. No, I am in my tanking gear. So this is definitely an upgrade. Let's take it. Awesome, cool. Uh, tier gloves, I will love take that. The, the, the problem is, is when you only get one slot, you are very, very much leaving your... Even if you just did one. Even if you did one big badass dungeon, you're really leaving yourself in a rough spot to possibly uh, be screwed over with a duplicate piece. So I'm going to keep that in the PvP slot, but at least in the PvE slot, boom. We got some cool hands now. Let's go. Let's go. And that gives us the two-piece. That gives us the two-piece. Uh, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. And now we are at 385 item level, even with the Death Knight. Cool and done. Now... I really am invested on this top one and also ready to spend some Valor. I've been saving up uh, Valor on this character for this exact reason. I'll explain why. If, you just, if you're just spending your Valor as soon as you get it and you can't keep, can't keep a hold of it, I'd maybe recommend for you to kind of pool it up some a little bit and be able to do something like I'm about to show you guys. Uh, unless you have a piece that you know is like your best in slot. It is your best in slot. No worries. And you already have a best in slot, then of course. But please don't spend Valor on things that um, you could be upgrading or aren't your best in slot. You're just trying to inflate your island. Mm, just be patient. You got to be patient. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Three out of three slots. I had some like 15s that I did. 15s, 14s, 13s. All right. Uh, well, interesting. Uh, I have... Oh, wow. That sucks. Uh, I have PvP legs. PvP legs. But I already have tier legs. PVE tier legs that are 408. So I'm probably not going to be choosing that anyway. Uh, ooh, do you have any tier? Ah, oh, no tier pieces. I could have got my four set tier this week. Oh, come on. 411 hands. 
411 hands compared to 392 hands. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And uh, the Inspiration Catalyst will come out soon, and I could upgrade that. 408 head, 395 head. Ooh, a headpiece, though. Headpieces are huge. Um, it is one notch lower. It's 408 compared to 411. That's one Valor, you know, Valor upgrade off. Uh, Versary Mastery. Oh, va double Mastery? Come on. So I'm checking my uh, spreadsheet over here. I have this little this little sheet I have made for myself. Blood Knight, Brewmaster, all, this, all the stat weights. So Haste, Crit Verse, Mastery is the worst. So... Oh, man. Oh, and then we got Crit Haste Leggings, but I can't do legs because I get legs so much on my Demon Hunter. So the legs are a definite no because I have tiered legs at 408. So that's an absolute no. And this is for PvP only, and I'm really focusing more on PvE and my Death Knight, uh, my Demon Hunter now. Really want to uh, push that up there. Um, so we have Mastery Hand, or Mastery Head, and Mastery Crit. Oh, but see, now here's the thing. I already have Mastery on my hands. So that's not too bad, and it's the highest piece, and it's with Critical Strike, and I'm thinking this is where I'm going to be going here. Um, also, with hands, uh, I do have a solid, yeah, I have a solid uh, headpiece that I'm also not going to be turning into tier because it's not upgradable. This is from uh, Vault of the Incarnates or whatever. Uh, it's not going to be upgradable, so I'm probably not going to be touching that too much. So... I'm thinking hands. I think hands, it's going to save me a little bit of valor here. Uh, the headpiece is um, uh, the headpiece is interesting. I could turn it into tier, but this is just so far down. There's so many valor points to upgrade this, and it's the highest It's the highest one. It's going to save me valor. So I'm going to go with an item level um, uh, choice here instead of the stat weights, because even if you look at the stat weights here, I'm gaining... I actually am gaining more stats with this because I was I was I was thinking headpiece, headpieces have a whole bunch of stats on them. Uh, but I'd also be dumping uh, haste and switching for mastery, which would be very bad as well. So to, even more reasons to pick the hands. That's at least though all of the thought processes that are going through my head on like when I'm choosing uh, what the heck what the heck to choose, right? So uh, we got a halls of valor. Oh, I do need halls. Actually, I need halls of valor the most of anything during a tyrannical week. So. I'll take it. So now, here comes some upgrading stuff. So let me let's actually get out to the upgrade spot, and I can show you what I'm talking about. So I have been holding and pooling Valor since the start. I think I've upgraded maybe three, three or four things. I just ran into that wall. How embarrassing! Um, three or four things since the jump of uh, backflip. Ooh, backflip fly. All right. Anyway, um, I, I hold on to it, and I, I I would also recommend the first tip I have for you is do not spend your Valor at the back end of the week. Don't spend your valor whenever the, everything's about to reset, right? So I have this ring right here. I haven't enchanted yet. I was waiting to see if I got a valor, uh, if I got a ring, crazy ring or something like that. So I'm, I held on to that. I also have some other pieces I could upgrade, but I just haven't yet on purpose to see what's what's going on here. So anyway, um, uh, oh, I should probably before I before I start upgrading stuff, let me let me switch out the new thing I just got. What did I just get? I don't even remember. I got hands. There we go. So put on the hands, 411 hands, boom. That should hit me. My goal, though, y'all. Here we go, here we go, and 400 item level. Ah, <sighs> that was the goal. I really wanted to hit that. That was, that was, that was, okay, cool, 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 cool. So anyway, um, I got my hands now. Now, whenever I'm upgrading pieces now, let's look at this. Let's talk to the guy here. These are all my best tank pieces. I'm, uh, these are some PvP pieces, PvE pieces, uh, like three, like bracers, too low, all that stuff, right? So um, now I am going to see which things I should upgrade. I have a 7 out of 13 neck. Oh. Oh, can I upgrade this? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I still need 2,000 rating. I'm at 1,800 rating. So I could upgrade those. And this is tier and this is best in slot. So what? that might be an option. Uh, this is the PvP piece, but it is uh, tier. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about that. I'd have to... Inter Actually... No, it's tier, so it is best in slot because uh, it, how the PvP gear works is just added a little bonus there. So I'll take that, and then my legs are already maxed out. I can't upgrade those any further. Um, and then uh, wrist pieces, uh, it has mastery on it, so it's not best in slot. Hands, I won't be able to upgrade any further because they're already maxed out because they're 411. 
Uh, boots have mastery on them, eh. And this ring is what did not have mastery on it. So now with this ring here, it's a crit verse ring. It doesn't have any haste on it. But man, oh man, is it pretty solid. And I have a ton of valor to be uh, kicking around here. So I am going to upgrade my ring. Uh, cool, I'll step with that. 400 item level. I could do it again. I could do it again. I'm going to do it again. Um, and that still leaves me with a solid amount of valor. Uh, and then this piece. Oh, no, no. I'm going to leave that there. And then I'll upgrade this uh, with... Oh, no, I'll upgrade... Uh, I have a, the, the crafted weapon that I'll upgrade with the spark situation. Uh, this, whenever I get more primal focuses. So I think I'm in a good spot for a one, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we do it here, people. So I'm going to try and do another push on this character, uh, get another solid vault next week, uh, maybe do some PvP on the monk. I really want to do some PvP on the monk to get him some options there and uh, not neglect the uh, two, the two babies on my <laughs> on my druid and warrior and get them up there too. So uh, there's the vault. Hopefully you got some tips from that. And I uh, hope you had a good vault on yourself too. Peace.